In this slide, I wanted to give you a fresh idea on how to create a slide where the image itself will create a lot of the atmosphere of the actual slide. Now, I wanted a focal point, something that you look into. So I've decided to search a picture and I did search the picture by inserting the search term hand or touch, something like that. And as you can see, here are plenty of maybe emotionful, but very strong images that could be used. Some of those images were something like that or like this. All those images, I believe, would be perfect for any type of atmospheric slide. But I've decided to use this. This is absolutely stunning. And I'm going straight into PowerPoint. I'm placing this picture here. Now, at first, I want to think how far on the one left or right side I want the image. In order to make this easier for me, I'm going to view and I'll open up guides. The middle guide, I'll place it here on the right side. This way I see where the slide ends. So I want to take the hand and I would like this part of the slide to be like that. Perfect. I go to format, I go to crop and I just crop the right side. Now I would like to create the main part of the left side in the slide. Let me go quickly to view and deselect the guides. I'll go back to home and I'll insert my shape. And I was thinking about a shape like that, especially since the hand goes from top right to bottom left. Okay, insert shapes and I want something like this. I already sent a message to the Microsoft developers that we should have a shape where the yellow icon appears and we can resize it because this shape can't be resized as is. I want this shape to be like this. Okay, I just quickly reposition it and I'll place it here. If you are not satisfied with how far this reaches, right click, click on edit points and you can edit the points a little. Maybe I want it a slightly bit stronger. All right, this seems perfect. Now I would like to cut out here one portion just to make the slide a bit more interesting. I can do this very simply by clicking on this object, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'll make that smaller and I want to turn this object around. Turn it like that, turn it like that. And this way it would be good if they are similar in, in this corner. And I want to cut out a portion of this image. So in order to do this, I select this image first, then this image second, format, merge shapes, subtract them. Okay, perfect. Now the entire mood of this slide should be made with a line, I mean the shape outline. We have this beautiful blackish darkish background, so why not use it to fill out this shape? Shape fill, eyedropper, use that, shape outline, wait, and select more lines. More lines because I want the width of this outline to be like 30 points or something like that. We arrived at the point, you need to remember this, this, and this will be not visible. I only want this line to be here. And remember that it should be bigger in order so it goes out of the slide. In order to make this bigger in all directions at once, you need to select it, just select it, press shift. This will make it equal. Press control, which will go outwards of the middle point and press the left alt so it doesn't snap to anything. If I don't select the alt, you can see those red items here. If I select alt, I can move it without snapping. So once again, shift, control and alt, all three buttons and make it big enough so it reaches here outside the slide. You can preview this by selecting Shift F5. All right. And beautiful, I have only the line visible here, nothing more. My last adjustment in the slide before I would place any text boxes or any informations here, I have this beautiful focus and I was thinking about making at first in the line a white line. 
but we have such beautiful colors on this hand. So I want to use these images colors and instead of solid line, in the line options, I want to select gradient line. Now I want the gradient to go from top to bottom. So you can, the type could be linear, it's okay. The direction you see left, right, top, bottom. In this case, if you select left, right, because we reposition this image, it will go from top to bottom and we have four colors here. I believe four colors should be pretty okay. I had to reposition my PowerPoint a bit. Okay, select the first color, select the eyedropper and select the color you believe will at best represent the colors on the image you have. This should be on the top side, so I just quickly grab this color to the far right side, boom, and I go as follows with the next colors. We have orange here, eyedropper, let's select this orange. Let's just see how this all turns out. Next color, we have yellow. I want a strong yellow. Mm, I think this one is the best. Could be a bit brighter, oh, really beautiful. And switch this color to the right and left side. And the last color, maybe this red. And look at that. A really, really beautiful slide with aligned colors and so much impact, so much harmony, melody, emotions are coming straight out of the image and out of the line. You can make the line thinner. I just wanted to give you an idea how to make an impactful slide like that. And the left side could be filled out with text. And this way you would create a really, really nice design. I added the first text box, right click, format shape. Instead of the shape options, I went to the text options. And in the text fill, if we select gradient, it automatically selects the gradient we already did previously. Boom, this would be my end result. I hope this does inspire you in some way and we'll see each other in other tutorials.